Long past its peak, the Han Empire had nowhere to go but down. However, the might of Cao Cao helped bring an end to the Yellow Turban Rebellion. As a result of his deeds in battle, he was promoted to the rank of colonel. And Meanwhile, the Han Imperial Court lost the last vestiges of its authority and influence. It was then that Cao Cao's childhood friend, Yuan Shao, rose to power. We must slay the ten eunuchs who are responsible for this corruption. He gathered together various warlords and eliminated the eunuchs. However, from his position within the Imperial Court, Cao Cao could sense it. The ten eunuchs were not the only ones harboring the smoldering sparks of rebellion. For there was another threat, a violent wind capable of toppling the once mighty Han Empire. And that threat had a name, Dong Zhuo, a brutal warlord feared far and wide. We said we were fighting for the good of the land. Men flocked to our cause and we claimed victory. But among those men were evildoers like Dong Zhua. Now he has ultimate power. And it seems our efforts were all for naught. I don't know if the Han will ever be able to bring peace to this land. A fine speech. Very route. Yes, well, uh, we must stop Don Joie. You owe me, remember? You're going to help. Got that? What is it? My lord, Don Joie wants to see you. Cao Cao. You made quite a name for yourself at the Yellow Turban Rebellion. I can tell you have potential, which is why you should come serve me. What do you mean by that? Slaughter all who oppose us. Help me create a land in my image. And what kind of land would that be? Isn't it obvious? A land filled with food, wine, and women. My very own personal paradise. <laughs> I see. A very admirable goal indeed. However, there is no room in such a world for any other than yourself. I have no inclination to serve another. Hm. You are a fool. You give me no choice but to put you to death as well. I might have known they'd have set an ambush. Still, we must not fall here. I have to get out of this enclosure first and foremost. We need more men! Lord Cao Cao, I will help you escape. 
A life as valuable as yours must not be lost here. Who are you? And why would you help me? My name is Chen Gong. My conscience can no longer endure Dong Zhuo's tyranny. Quickly, this way. So, you're keeping wild animals now? I am Lu Bu! You must be the fleeing rat! Lubu is a man of extraordinary might. He must be avoided at all costs. You are powerless before me! I will forget this! My ambition cannot be stopped. Wait, he who claims the head of Cao Cao, he must not be allowed to escape. Who do you think you are? You dare to get in our way? Correctly, a tiger is kept in a cage here. If we let it loose, the enemy will be thrown into disarray.
The only way to stop that is to take down the commander. Fight me now! For glory! I must retreat! This is not the end! My ambition cannot be stopped. Excellent! Now, quickly, we must make haste. Our path is blocked. We'll have to find some way to clear the obstruction. safe from here. It is time for me to take my leave. This land needs a hero like yourself. May the gods favor you, Lord Tsao Tsao. I'll just go tidy things up. This would be dangerous, didn't you? I wish to see this Dong Chua with my own eyes. I don't know how long I'll last doing stuff like this. Maybe I should get out of the bodyguard. Then maybe I'll get you a guard dog like Lu Wu. No, 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 no. Hmm.